Okay, everyone, families have really changed over the past 100 years. Um, you got done doing an assignment where you read a play based roughly around 100 years ago, and then you wrote, you read another play that happened in the 1950s, and then you did one, um, you created your own about how families are today. So families have changed. We're going to kind of cruise through the, the slide a little bit so you can fill out your study guide. But roughly around 120 years ago, 100 years ago, um, families have changed. And um, the main source of income came from the, from the dad, from the father. Um, the husband was the one that worked. Mom stayed home and took care of the kids and of the house. Um, a lot of times uh, men were farmers at that time, at the turn of the, of the century. And that's how, that's how they lived. Um, children were seen and not heard. People didn't really respect what kids had to say. And they basically feared a lot of, a lot of times um, children feared their dad because if they ever mouthed off or if they said anything disrespectful, um, dad just didn't spank. Dad would bring them out to the barn um, and, and belt them um, with the belt. Um, people lived, well, a lot of times people lived in a farmhouse because that's what they did is that they farmed. And they lived a simple life. They didn't have any debt. They didn't have credit cards. You couldn't buy anything unless you had the money. So it's basically like paying cash for everything that they had. Um, in 1900, the number of children, a lot of times they had 12 or more. And the reason, there's a couple of reasons. One, obviously, is because of birth control. They didn't have that. And the other reason is that if you lived on a farm, you needed the more hands that you had. Um, the easier it was to run the farm. The average age to marry was between 16 and 17 years old. I know, gross, right? Um, you can't even get married at 16 in Minnesota anymore, not even with um, parent permission. So um, things were very different. And you need to think about that. Remember when you were in middle school and you had like eighth grade recognition or eighth grade, you know, um, awards night? Do you really know what that stems from? That stems, that used to be eighth grade graduation. In fact, when I came here 27 years ago, they still called it eighth grade graduation. And kids at that time had a choice. Um, eighth grade education was enough to get by and you could either go on to high school or you could quit school at that time and then you went to work on the farm. So very interesting, my, my grandpa had um, an eighth grade education but all of all of his sons, um, including my dad, um, they graduated from high school, and then my dad actually graduated um, from college. Um, but average age to marriage was between 16 and 17. Um, so getting married, um, people didn't wait to have kids, and um, they had their first babies at 16 to 17 years old. Yes, teen parents. And both mom and dad um, lived at home. Divorce was unheard of couple of reasons why. If a woman um, divorced her husband, what could she really do? I mean, she couldn't vote at that time because women couldn't, they didn't even have the right to vote. The husband basically owned the wife at that time. So if she was stuck in a marriage where there was abuse or anything like that, um, she was basically screwed. Whoops, sorry. Um, in 1900, um, there was a lot of fear between a child and a parent. Um, the husband owned the wife, like I just talked to a little while ago. And housework was never done by the dad or the males of the house. Uh, moms and girls were the one, and they were the ones that basically served dad. Dad came in, supper was served and put on the table in front of him. Um, dad needed to, no one could leave the table until dad said they could leave the table or until he got up. So really it all revolved around dad. God, those males are lucky duck, ducks back then. Um, in 1900, um, women's clothing had many long layers. You were considered a slut if you could see your ankles. Can you imagine that? If your skirt was high enough, so your ankles were showing that you were considered like a sleazy woman. So, boy, times have really changed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, horse and buggy. 
there were no cars until um, uh, what was it, 1915, around that time era. So horse and buggy was still there and divorce was never heard of. Um, for leisure time or for just casual time, people spent it at home and they did a lot of visiting friends and family. Remarriage seldom happened except for widows. If um, a woman died in childbirth or if a husband was killed, um, then you would see people remarrying. But if there happened to be a divorce, you never saw remarriage. Children outside of marriage, I'm, it's, it says never, but it did happen. Don't kid yourself, it did happen. But then those babies were um, put in an orphanage or put up for adoption or something like that. But you never saw it. People never saw that. And sex outside of marriage, it happened. Don't kid yourself. It happened. Um, but people pretended it didn't. Isn't it just kind of weird how people were? In the 1950s, 50 years later, dad was still the employer. And gone are really the days of farming. Um, farming really uh, was diminishing as a profession. And it's really interesting because in 1900, about 90% of, of the U.S. population farmed. In 1950, it was about half that. And now today, only about 4 to 5% of the population farm. So you have, you have these farmers that are producing food for all of us here in the U.S. plus other countries. So in 1950, a lot of times dad had an employer that he worked for a factory or an office. Um, dad had the overall say. You heard this phrase a lot. Wait till your dad comes home. Mom would discipline, but she would say, wait for your dad to come home so that he would have the final say. It was okay um, to spank kids. And we'll talk more about spanking kids later on. Um, we talk a lot about that in child development. Is it right? Is it wrong? Um, just so you know, if you spank a child and it leaves a mark, that is considered abuse. But if you spank a child, um, you know, occasionally and it doesn't leave a mark, it's not considered abuse. It wouldn't get very far in court. Um, homes had one to two bedrooms and one bathroom at this time. They weren't very big homes. Uh, they were smaller and a lot of homes are built the same, kind of like with like today. In 1950, the average age to marriage, Mary was about 20. Most kids did graduate from high school at this time. And then right at their early 20s, they got married. The average age for first child was around the age of 21. Uh, mom and dad were both home. And mom is the caregiver, but father knows best because dad is the one that, you know, oh, let's take care of dad. And he has the final say in everything. Um, husband dominates and makes the major decisions, but mom is now able to speak more freely and dad will listen. Um, the wife serves her husband and it's kind of interesting that even in um, school, women were taught to take care of their husbands. Uh, women wore skirts still at this time. They wore below the knee. So now, now you, it's above the ankle. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. But it was very uncommon for women to wear pants or, or jeans or anything. You, you would never wear jeans. Even to school, you would never, ever wear pants. Girls were required to wear skirts to school. And um, it had to be below the knee. Um, transportation. Um, families only had one car at that time because the only person really who needed it was dad. And there was a lot of, if you lived in the city, um, people took the bus or the subway or the train. In 1950s, there was some divorce because women were able to um, get a job if they did get divorced. Um, for leisure time, kids and parents, uh, families listened to the radio. TV was just coming in. My mom still remembers the first time when they got their TV. Uh, they were talking about it. And they got a TV when she was 13 years old. And it was a black and white TV. And oh my gosh, 
everyone in the family came over to her house to watch this thing called television. They had drive-in movies, um, they had card parties, and spent a lot of time with friends. Remarriage was okay, even after divorce. And children outside of marriage seldom, but it did happen. And again, the, these kids went up for adoption. Um, they never were kept. Um, they were put up for adoption right away. Sex outside of marriage happened, but it was ignored. Today, families have changed. Today, it's very common for both men and women to work. Uh, it's expensive to have a family today. The cost of living is sky high. And in some cases, I've had classes where I've asked this question, who makes more money, mom or dad? And it is amazing that mom sometimes makes more money than dad. Even when I was your age, you saw dad making more money than mom but things are really changing. By the way, just a little piece, a little tidbit of information. Minnesota has more working women than any other state in the United States. Um, parenting, you see a lot of different kind of parenting today. You see mom and dad, you see single parenting, you see a blended family um, with divorced. Um, and parenting is much more democratic, even though it might not seem like it is for you in general, Kids' opinions are asked much more than they were before. Um, in home, it, it, For the house, a lot of times people are in debt. We are an in-debt society where we have credit cards. And when you charge on the plastic, there is a high interest rate and it's really hard to pay that off. So don't get in debt. And it's really common to have a three-car garage because we have a lot of cars today. Number of kids have really gone down. Um, this varies by race as well. The average white family um, will have 1.8 kids. And I know you can't have 1.8 kids, but that's what it comes down to if you're going to do the math. If you come from an African-American family or black family, you have about 2.5 kids. Um, if you're a Hispanic family, the average is about 3 to 3.5. I don't have statistics for Asian families or for Native American families, but I do for the other ones. So you can see that there's less children. Um, today, the average age to marry is between 25 and 26, and the millennials that are close to 30 now are really putting off marriage, and some of them are not even getting married until like 28, 29, even early 30s. So that average age to marry is actually being pushed a little bit more um, to 27 and 28. The average age of first child, anywhere from 25 to 40. You're seeing a lot of women today having kids at an older age. Um, sometimes women will have kids in their 20s, and then later on they'll, ha they'll have another set of kids in their 40s. Um, you have parents. You have a lot of people that parent kids today, mom and dad, boyfriends, girlfriends, grandparents, single parents, step family, um, step mom, step dad. So there's a lot of people involved in parenting kids. And like I said before, um, child-parent relationship is more democratic and more equal than it was in the past. Today, husband and wife, it's equal, or it should be. Um, at least it is in my in in our house, um, where where we we make decisions equally. Although my kids would say, if mom ain't happy, no one's happy. But I like to think that we're equal. Housework, uh, it's not equal in my house. Um, but I would say that um, since I work full time, my husband has things that he does and I have things that I do. And I would say that they equal out pretty well. Um, women's clothing today, really anything kind of goes as long as it's, it's respectable out in public. Um, transportation, we are a society of having our own cars. And a lot of times we have not paid for our cars and we are paying for them as we are using them. Also today, um, divorce is frequent. It's actually gone down. I got. I have to change this number. It's actually 48%. And the reason is, is because the millennials are getting uh, married later on and the divorce rate has actually fallen to less than half, if you can believe that. Um, leisure going out. I mean, what does going out mean? Usually hanging with friends, maybe going out to eat or something like that. 
Um, it just went crazy here. Sorry about that. I'll get back onto it. And remarriage is very frequent. And children outside of marriage is often, it happens often, and it's really much more accepted. It's amazing how many kid people will have kids first and then they'll get married. And sex outside of marriage today, this is American society talking, no big deal. Okay, it might be different. You might have a different philosophy and that's perfectly fine, but it doesn't seem like a big deal like it did before. So that is it. You should fill out your study guide and um, that's it.